Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Freddy. I just wanted to make this video um, for basically Ableton Move users out there that wanted to upgrade the storage on their Ableton Move. So when you get it with Ableton Move, it comes with a basically like 64 gigs of storage space. And if you wanted to, you know, load a bunch of samples on here or record a bunch of things on here um, you're probably going to need more space 64 is completely fine honestly it doesn't take up that much space like samples like when you import samples and everything it doesn't take up that much space at all like all the projects that i've made on here and all the samples that i've imported have only taken up maybe like a gig or two uh, and that's like maybe I don't know how many projects, like, you know, like around 15 projects. It's more than enough uh, space. But if you feel like upgrading the the storage on your Ableton Move, I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through the process of how I did it. I mean, I've already done it, um, but I can kind of just recreate what I did, basically. But I upgraded the, the micro SD card on here to 128 gigs which is pretty much just double um, uh, what the Ableton Move came with. I just quickly want to share um, the old SD card. So I have the Move connected to the web manager, the Move manager on the, on the computer, just to show you the old SD card. See, as you can see, it says 52.4 gigs, and that's how much storage space I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and power the unit off. And we're just going to disconnect everything here. And I'm just going to get a towel just so I can put it on here. I like that. And then, yeah, so basically you're going to have to unscrew a few things. You have to remove these rubber feet. I've already done it, but you're going to pretty much lose the the adhesive. I, I cleaned it up already, but you're going to have to pretty much remove all these rubber feet on the bottom. I'm just putting these off to the side just so I kind of know where they go. I think you can switch them around, but... Basically, you just have to undo the screws on the back, um, and it'll lift up this back panel. So let's go ahead and do that. So the ones under the feet, there's four in total. And let's just put these on this thing just so we remember where these go. The ones underneath the, the rubber feet are a little bit different from these other ones. And then there's four that are just exposed. Like it's saying, the back panel just comes off like that. You don't have to unscrew anything else after this. So here's what the internals of the Ableton Move look like. Um, you have your Raspberry Pi right here. It's the Wi-Fi card. This is the battery. It's a 6,000 milliamp battery. And those are your speakers right there. And the SD card is actually located just to the top right of the Raspberry Pi. So right here, uh, the best way I found out to take this out is just to get a pair of like tweezers or something small, uh, preferably some tweezers that aren't metal like this one, but you just kind of slide that out and then um, just kind of move it around until you can kind of gra grab it from the edges here. 
It's almost like operation. Here's that old SD card right there. And then let's go on the computer and then we'll clone it pretty much. So we're taking this old SD card and then cloning it to this new one, which is 128 gigs. This one's 64, this is 128. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we have both of our um, uh, SD cards in the computer right now. One is the 128 one, which we're going to be upgrading. This is the new SD card. And then this one that just comes up as boot is the old SD card. Uh, the one that came stock into the Ableton Move. And uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're want to you we're going to want to clone basically this um, this SD card. And the best way to do that is I use a program called Belena Etcher. Uh, you can just Google it, and they have this clone option here. So we'll clone drive, and then we'll select the old SD card, which is this one, the 62 one. That's the source. And then we're gonna select the target drive, which is the new SD card, which is this 128 one, or it says 126, but we'll select that. And then basically we're gonna flash it to the new SD card. And I just type in my password here. And then, yeah, now it's starting to flash the old information off the old card onto the new card. So we'll come back once this is done. All right, so the flash is completed. And then um, let's go ahead and eject the card. So here is our new card this 128 gig card. And this is very important, but you're gonna have to have access to basically a Linux operating system for this next part. Um, you can download like VMware or Parallels for your Mac or even Windows, I guess. Um, but we need access to a program called Gparted. Um, I do have a Linux Fedora system running on an old uh, Microsoft Go, and I'm just going to take the SD, uh, the new SD card, and just put it into into here real quick. So now we're going to go ahead and run a program called Gparted. Um, you're probably going to have to download this from um, through Linux anyway, and it's going to read all the partitions. What we're more interested in is the SD card that we put in, which is uh, this one. So you have, this is the, the partitions that we cloned onto the new SD card. And then this is all unal unallocated space. So this is the space that we wanna expand to make it bigger. And it's usually this last partition um, right here. Uh, it, yours might be named differently but I think it's about the same on all of them. And we want to um, basically resize this. So we're gonna click the, the one that's kind of like close to 64 gigs, this larger one. Um, says it's like 53.8. Um, and then we're gonna go to resize and move. And then we can, um, we can um, just slide this over until it fills up all the way. And then we're gonna go resize move. And then we're gonna hit the check mark up here and then it'll go through the process applying. And then now it's going to resize that partition so we get the full, um, the full card to store things and there it is so yeah that's pretty much all you have to do on that side 
we're gonna eject the SD card right here. Okay, so here is the new SD card, the 128 one that we just cloned. Let me see if I can do this one-handed, but we're just gonna pop this back into the unit. Just be careful with it, that's all. Um, sometimes it can get stuck in the back there. So I'm just gonna kind of like, whoa. Probably shouldn't be doing this with one hand there and then we can push it back in there so it's in there now and then um just to before we put on the back let's go ahead and test it on the screen real quick let me just move this back here sorry so let's go ahead and turn it on Okay, see our sets came up. We can test one. Okay, um, and then let's go to the move manager on the computer real quick. Let me just sync this up. Okay, and then uh, here is the new SD card now. See, it's 100 and almost 15 gigs, 114.6. One, and that is pretty much upgrading the SD card for the Ableton Move. Of course, create a backup of this. You can create an image of this old SD card and just keep the original SD card somewhere safe just in case anything goes wrong. I'm not responsible if you mess this up in any way just take your time do a little bit of research i can link down the article that i read on um on reddit just so you can kind of get an idea of how to do things but i didn't follow that that tutorial to a t i just found out basically what kind of worked for me and that was using um the balena elcher program it, they make it for windows and mac um and then finding how to use gparted on a linux system i think you can run a linux system on like parallels or vmware or i believe there's an iso that you can download and then you can kind of run it through um maybe an intel mac or just like another windows system uh, rather than downloading and running like a, a linux operating system but that's just how i upgraded the the sd card on my ableton move like i said you, it's it's totally not necessary to upgrade the sd card i think it's more than enough but if you're going to be uploading a grip of samples and recording a lot onto the ableton move um, and you definitely think you need all that space this is just kind of like a way to do that